Hi everyone, in this video I'll be showing you how you can collaborate with your team members using our collaboration features on Gitpod. So there are two different ways we can collaborate on Gitpod and today we have Nancy to help me demonstrate these features to you. So the first way you can collaborate on Gitpod is by sharing your workspace and we can do this by clicking the share button here. Once you click that share button, you get this pop-up that just reminds you that when you share your workspace with others, it also means sharing access to your repository. So we'll just click share. And now the workspace is being shared. So you can just share the link with anyone. You can copy the URL here. And now what I'll do is just share this with Nancy and Nancy will also make a few code changes so we can see that on here as well. Yes, so I'm able to open the workspace. Okay, so I am making changes now. Yes, and we can actually see that live, as you can see on line nine and line 10. So Nancy's now saved that, so we can actually check if that works. So we'll just refresh and yay, it does. You can see that we've changed the cats and dogs to purple and orange. Once I've finished working with Nancy, I would want to just stop sharing my workspace. So all I need to do is click this shared button here. And what that does is it just stops the workspace from being shared and now only I can see it. So Nancy, if you just do a refresh, can you tell us like what you see now that you don't have access to the workspace? Yeah, so now I refresh and it says that operation not permitted, missing get permission on workspace. Now that shows that Nancy no longer has access to the workspace. The other way you can collaborate here is actually by creating a workspace snapshot. And this is a bit different from just sharing a link to your workspace. What this does is it creates a snapshot of its state. So once I create this snapshot, I can send this to Nancy and Nancy will have an exact copy of what the workspace state is, but it creates a completely new workspace for her. Now the current state has been captured in a snapshot and all I need to do now is just copy this URL, send it to Nancy and then Nancy will have an exact copy of the workspace, but it's a completely fresh workspace for her. Those are the two ways you can collaborate on Gitpod. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope that you learned something. If you have any more questions about Gitpod, feel free to drop into our community Discord server over at gitpod.io chat. We'll see you there.